Hello farmers, welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. We are in, I guess, a new field up here, harvesting the, well, harvesting our wonderful little soybeans that we have. Um, already unloaded the combine once, uh, but I'm kind of confused. I thought we spread lime on this entire field. I was just checking some stats on the field as the harvester was going around. Yeah, apparently I need lime over here, which is kind of interesting. Um, it is what it is. Uh, we got Frank over here planting sunflowers over here in field number three, so that's going on. Um, I would like to get this field reseeded tonight as well, so that way all of our fields are in sequence. So it might be a late night for me here on the farm. Uh, how's the cotton field going? Well, it's going pretty good. The cotton harvester is getting along rather well. Um, worker B is, well, let's just jump in here, is our wonderful little quad track. Uh, he's cultivating the field because, as you know, cotton stocks, yeah, they can be a pain in the butt. Uh, worker D, I'm probably going to stop worker D here in a second. Uh, but they are spreading down liquid fertilizer, obviously, to get the first stage of fertilization in. And, of course, we jump over to the T8. Well, they're spreading down some lime because the field needs some lime before we replant it. So when the John Deere gets ready to replant pretty darn soon with some cotton, this field will be pretty much all set, except for we'll probably have to weed it uh, first thing tomorrow. Um, I am going to stop the Rubicon worker in the hardy here because he's catching up to our quad track over there. Uh, I probably need to go around and pick up some uh, cotton modules as well. But I need to get up here. I, I knew the combine was going to be close to ready to be emptied out. Uh, yeah, this field hopefully will harvest pretty darn well. And I want to get this field pretty much I don't want done. Uh, but set for Frank can get over here and start seeding immediately uh, once he gets done in field number three. So I need to keep up with that. Uh, yeah, the silo is going to get kind of full. I don't know what we're going to get for a yield off this field, but hopefully it's good. Um, hopefully when we wake up tomorrow morning, the soybean price will be good. I can go ahead and sell that. I don't really need food for the pigs for a while. You saw all the pig food down there last episode. Uh, I mean, the pigs have so much food, it's ridiculous. Um, I swear they're actually producing food for, I don't know if they're doing that. Or, obviously not doing that, but, uh, it seems like they are. Uh, I should be able to turn this off and he should go right back to work. Uh, I've been also down here kind of busy getting the factories, well, one factory, uh, the whiskey factory. I got, I brought some wheat over because we just did a wheat harvest. So we're going to, uh, you know, make sure that goes overnight. Uh, but the next thing I need to do for the wheat factory is work tool needs to be, oh, we're unloading that. So hopefully that goes away. There we go. Um, yeah, I need to bring some water over to the whiskey factory. At some point, I need to bring one of these belts over back to the BGA so I can get some silage out of the BGA and into the TMR mixer. Uh, because we are getting kind of low on that and the cows do love their TMR and um, yeah last time we fed them uh, the cows we had at the current stage when we fed them last they require 1 million liters of TMR to feed them for a week uh, I am trying to keep an eye on the whiskey price and the meat price over here because I'm starting to get a lot of pallets uh, I do know that these meat pallets tend to lag me out a little bit when I start to get enough of them so hopefully we can sell some of those at some point and also you know to get the cash Get the cash is always good. All right, so we got water going to the whiskey factory. That should be good for a while. We'll just let that unload. And uh, I need to come over here. Yeah, we're just jumping around here. I know. Um, cotton modules. Yeah, I cleaned up some cotton modules at the end of the last episode. Get them off the field. I can see I got two more sitting here that I can see. Question is, do I have another one at the end of the field? Uh, if I do, it's going to be hard for it to render it. Well, there's a cotton module harvester. But soon that will be done. And yes, I need... Oops, don't not turn on. Okay, well, let's get the auto loader turned on. Thank you, auto loaders, because that has saved me so much time here in this map. Uh, we wouldn't be where we are without auto loaders on this map for darn sure. Uh, but yeah, then we have to bring everything uh, once there's done here. I need to bring everything over to the other cotton field because uh, if we look at the stage in that field, which would be this one right here, um, it won't be ready in the morning, but probably tomorrow afternoon, this cotton, these, well, this cotton fields over here should be ready, I would think. So, yeah, I also want to, I was hoping to earn enough cash to where you get a loan down to eight, uh, eight million. I wish eight million, 18 a million. So I need like 900,000 and we're sitting at 600 some odd thousand. Uh, what do I have to sell? Well, soybean is the obvious thing, but right now, unless something, I mean, the prices are going down, so I don't see that happening at all. Uh, I need to keep my eye on a few things. Uh, obviously, the cotton price, but uh, those um, this peaked out going up, so that should drop next. Uh, eggs, I mean, the egg prices were good, but now they're not so much. Uh, we are keeping an eye on the milk price. So that's almost up to 1500 
I like to see this at 1850. Uh, I think 1800s is pretty good. 1850. I got like a quarter of a million liters of milk, uh, but we'll probably get some more because, oh wait, we are past six o'clock. Uh, so yeah, I got the mod where the cows get milk six o'clock in the morning, afternoon. Uh, so we're almost up to 280,000. So they almost give me 30,000 liters of milk every 12 hours. Not too bad, but this is good while we're in here. We can kind of see what we're at. Uh, so we almost got like 360 ca cattle at this point. Um, TMR, they're good for like another four days. Uh, straw, I, you know, they can wait a little longer and water's not a big deal. We can just go ahead and dump water into there. Uh, but I want to go back to the stat page. I want to look at some other things. Uh, the obvious things that we can sell. Well, we got whiskey, but the whiskey price, the, the best price is dropping. Uh, sugar, we don't have that much sugar and the price is not that good either. Uh, the meat price. Well, 919 is the best price I see and the other two places, the price is dropping. Not so good there. The grapes, uh, once again, also not a good price there. The wine is always, it seems like the wine is always in the 16, there's always someone offering $1,600 for wine. Um, I don't have that much of it to get me up to 900000 so, and I really don't have nothing of anything else to sell. So about the only thing that looks promising is the milk. Uh, so with all that being said, I need to go ahead and just make sure how everyone is doing. Um... Yeah, this guy's going to run out of lime at least a couple times. And I want to give him a good lead before the John Deere gets seeding. Now, originally I said I don't want to see this uh, tonight, but why not? Uh, why not get a good night of seeding in? And that way when we sleep tonight, uh, the crop can grow and be all set to go. And um, yeah, I mean, cotton is cotton. Uh, all right, so we're almost ready to be unloading up here once again. As the combine makes it around. I, I could have swore we spread some lime down in the fields up here, but apparently I may have only done a couple of the fields, which is fine. And yes, my gas pedal sticks and zooms in and out. I apologize for that. I keep saying I need to go ahead and um, clean the contacts in my pedals, but uh, I never have time to get to it. Eventually, I will. So the combine is going to be here uh, nice and full pretty soon. So yeah, I brought a full trailer of soybeans... Uh, to the silo from field number three. So yeah, this this combine did fill up the trailer worth of soybeans. So we had tons of soybeans. And two full trailers will overfill my silo up here. So I may have to bring a uh, Wilson trailer up here and grab some soybeans and bring it down to the lower silos and put it, put it down there somewhere for the time being. Because as we just saw, the prices are not that good. Uh, so Frank will be done here. If I, if I click on Frank, if I can click on Frank... Um, according to course play, he'll be done in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, I usually add about another 10% on top of that because that doesn't include the turning around. So probably 11 minutes uh, he'll be done, which is fine. Uh, this should probably take another half hour, which is more than fine. I I'm all set for that. Uh, but as we know, if we're running at regular speed here, uh, this harvest will be done in the daytime. I got one more hour before the sun starts to set here in the Pacific Northwest. Now, like I said, uh, originally I've talked about many times what I want to do by the money for this end of this day. We talked about maybe buying some land and then paying off some of the debt, but I think uh, we're just going to and pay off the debt, not completely, but take all the money that we have towards the debt. Uh, I want to stop buying land up here just because I want to see if I can handle the workload up here. Of course, you know, you may be saying, you're not doing the workload. Frank is. Frank, Ju Frank and Frank Jr. handle the workload up here. Yeah, but, you know, I, I, I got to manage everything. So I want to make sure I can keep up with the rotation of the fields that we got now. Uh, and, and really, if I dig into the loan, that just saves us more more cash. Uh, I think next time we harvest, it could be the upper plateau is going to need lime everywhere. Um, as we can see, you know, like this little section here. Yeah, fine. Uh, this is our new field here that we made bigger in field 21 slash 20. And, of course, all the other fields, um, I think it's almost time that uh, those need some lime uh how are we doing down here and yeah, this is just a quad track and uh he should be fine he's he shouldn't need no help whatsoever yeah he can go ahead and i'm pretty sure our case module express will be done harvesting the cotton so he's not going to catch up to him um yeah you're spreading lime you're going to be out of lime in a while uh, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy back up you may have enough liquid fertilizer to finish the field. So hopefully you do. 
Uh, I made a couple passes and then stopped. And I said, well, I'm stopped. Let me go top off. Because usually this machine can almost spray the entire field except for one and a half rows. So I think I did two rows and then it went and filled it up. So hopefully it can finish the whole thing without having to top it off again. I'm probably going to grab the TA here. And I'm going to stop him once he gets to the end of the row. We're going to go fill him on up. Because he's probably going to run out when he's at the other end of the field. And our refill point is down here at the intersection where our seed maker is. Uh, what that I don't use anymore. I think there's actually still some seed in there. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And can you open up, please? Open. Wants to. There we go. So this is going to cost me a couple grand. I mean, as you would think, I'm going to require 14,000 liters of lime. I even got the drill down here for the T8 to, uh, when he gets done, um, you can go ahead and start helping the John Deere planting some cotton. Is lime in this one? I always forget. It is. All right, we'll go ahead and top that off. So it looks like, you know, we're going to pay off at least a half million, maybe a little bit more. Uh, like I said, unless we decide to sell something. I won't probably sell anything until we get done working for the evening because the prices are, are just going up. And like I said, the only thing it looks like we're going to be selling is possibly the milk. But the milk is going to have to uh, go up another... Why well, that's filling... What was that price again? Uh, well, it's at 1500 It needs to go up another $350. I don't know if it'll even get that far, honestly, because it started rather low. So we'll see. Um, so that's not bad. 2600 for line, but... Yeah, I'll be back to top off once again for sure. Right, let's go ahead and get this guy going back to work. And I think, I think I should start the John Deere to start seeding. Hopefully the T8 can spread line faster. Maybe I should just give it a little bit longer. It's not that far ahead right now. All right, so somewhere, like right about here is good. I don't mind overlapping a little bit. And hire a worker. Yeah, that's actually pretty darn good. All right, so yeah, let me go ahead. And I, I, I mean, I can always stop the worker as I go along. So make sure I'm on cotton, fertilizer. Yep, went, I went and topped off everything, so I was all set to go. I kind of made my mind last at the end of last episode or in between episodes that, yeah, we're going to see this field tonight. Why not? Right, hire a worker. Um, I do pay a lot in worker fees, though. Yeah, I noticed, uh, I don't know if it was in the episode or not, but at the end of one hour, uh, one hour alone, I paid almost $5,800 in worker fees. But I mean, you got it. You got to spend money to make money. And this is a lot of work I don't have to do, right? Oh, the one thing I got to be careful of is my workers crossing this this section right here and getting back into field 34. Um, yeah, they do that once in a while. All right, so this guy may spray the field 34 a little bit, but I think uh, that's fine because he's actually spraying this field here. Uh, yeah, the quad track did not go across, so I think we're all set there. Um, looks like we're going to be... Are you going to give me another module or not? Probably not. But that's all good. Uh, you might not get that one more pass. We have to go a couple more passes, but you are just about done. Oh, wow. Here come the weeds. Here come the weeds. Yep, so Frank Jr. is almost, or Frank is almost done up here. Um, I need to move our trailer around to where our combine is, and probably he's going to need to be unloaded at some point as well. Yeah, so right now, the prices, prices, like I said, the only thing right now looks that looks halfway decent, that could be, is the milk. And then, of course, when we sleep tonight, we wake up, we got a lot of prices to check. We got to check the prices on soybeans, uh, the meat, uh, the whiskey, and the cotton. Oh, yes, the cotton. There's some grass still here from when uh, Frank seeded the field for the first time. Uh, I'm not going to get to you before you get to the end of the row. R M I R. I don't know why I'm saying R for. I'm not a pirate. 
Can I get you before you start to turn around? Brakes, 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 brakes. No, nope, you're gonna you're gonna get into the crop. All right, I don't want. Can 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 we? No, you know what? Just just finish that row. Wait, can you? Can I get you to stop and unload? Well, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be full by the end of the uh, row anyway, so I'll just set it for the next pass and unload him then. Although course play is actually pretty good um, when the pipe is facing the crop. They actually program it to kind of back up and give you room to get to the side so you don't go into the crop. Because we do have crop destruction on here. Well, I wonder how much soybean we're going to get off this field. I mean, it's not going to take us that much longer to harvest this field, I don't think. Yeah, just as I get ready to unload the combine, I got a message that one of my workers is blocked by another. I got a funny feeling um, the Rubicon is probably caught up to our quad track. Now this combine is just about full, so when he goes on load, he's going to stop, which is fine. All right, I can turn off that engine. Yeah, so these two are crossing paths. So I'll have to stop him at some point. And that's looking good. The cotton is being planted and second stage of fertilization is in. Limes are being taken care of. It is all looking rather nice. Is the quad track going to zip it along there with a cultivator? I'm trying to see if, uh, yeah, the cotton module harvester is going to go through one more pass, which is fine because, well, he's just about done anyways. Then I'll, I'll start moving equipment across to the other field, get that ready for possibly tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, see, so the, the original plan was, like I said, was to reseed this field um, first thing in the morning. I was trying to figure out how to make the episodes kind of work. And I thought, so the only thing I'll have to do in the morning has reached a trigger point. Oh, that's got to be Frank up here. Um, the only thing we'd be doing in the morning would be uh, seeding a field. And that wouldn't be too much fun to watch because that's a big field. It would take me a while, even with another worker going along. So I said, you know what? We may, we may skip into the night time a little bit here. That'll be fine. Now I know I can't start seeding right away because we'll catch up that combine harvester too quick. Uh, just the weeds. It always seems like the weeds come along just as I start seeding a field or something like that. But what are you going to do? It's it's part of the process, right? It's part of the process. Right, how are you doing on, your, on the line? Not too bad. Just keeping track of all the workers. I think the John Deere, yeah, you're not going to catch up to that T8 anytime soon. But you might. You actually might. All right, so I think, I think since the cotton module harvester is done, I don't think we're getting another module off the field, which is fine. I just want to go down here a little bit make sure... That there isn't one at the end of this field because I want the Rubicon or the quad track to be pushing anywhere. No, we're all set. So this can go back over. I'll dump this uh, cotton modules into our storage area. We have a good amount of cotton building on up, which is good. So the price happens to peak well tomorrow, which I don't think it will. Won't do it until like later in the afternoon, probably, because it's got the price has got to drop first before it rises back up. That's how farming simulator works. The price goes up. It peaks, and then uh, the next time the price moves, it'll go down, and then it stops. Then it goes back up. I'm glad there are no cars parked in that little intersection. I, I drive that little between the light post and the parking lot often enough. Let's zip on over here. Start getting the equipment and vehicles off that cotton field over there. Make it look a little bit cleaner. So this is all of our cotton modules over here. Now, I do believe all of them but one are 40,000 liters a piece. So, yeah, well, the price is good. We got tons of cotton sitting here. Actually, you know what? Oh, okay, uh, I forgot to turn it off, so I just grabbed one. That kind of ruins what I, I was doing here. Uh, let's go ahead and just unload that there. And I want to go ahead and put this... No, I'll leave it on cotton modules because I don't know what I'm going to use this for next, but I probably will be pallets, but move it over here out of the way. 
All right, so everyone's looking good here. And now the fun drive. Bring this back over to the west side. And kind of get it all set for tomorrow's harvest. It's kind of working out rather well, these cotton fields. Uh, them being ready in, on opposite days. So every day it seems like we're harvesting cotton. And if we pile up enough like we did a few episodes ago, yeah, I can earn two and a half million dollars really quick when we sell all the cotton. Now that we're not planting sugar beet over here anymore for the sugar factory, because the sugar factory does not go through the sugar beet hardly at all. I still got a half million liters sitting in the silo over here by the hog barn. So I'm not sure... As slow as the sugar beet is being taken by the sugar factory, I'm not sure if I will go through that much sugar beet. We shall see. We shall see. So, yeah, first, uh, tomorrow morning, I don't know if all this will be in the episode, but in the morning, I'll probably bring one of those belts over to the BGA and get it kind of ready to start making some more TMR. But um, I may, we may take care of the cows first thing next episode while some of the harvest is going on over here. It may not be until tomorrow afternoon, so tomorrow morning. Um, the only thing I may be doing is taking care of the upper plateau, meaning uh, it'll, it'll need to be fertilized, and of course it'll need to be weeded. All right. Let me get this. To, uh, I mean, I could start this back up, but I think you're going you're gonna to catch the quad track again, aren't you? Just because you're working with this so flipping wide, which is great, but um, yeah, so I'm just going to park you here for now. I'm, I'm going to wait on you a little bit. Um, how are we doing here? I'll let you go a couple more passes. Alright, let's get back up here, which is almost perfect. Oh, I really need to, to go and empty this into the silo, don't I? Well, the combine's getting ready to turn around, so I might as well take a full trailer. And this is soybean. Hmm. Yeah, so when I go to harvest canola and sunflower up here, which is going to yield more. Yeah, we're not. I'm going to kind of prepare myself. So the fields that we have, and actually we we actually have more fields up here than this harvest here because the field over there we just mer we just seeded for the first time. So this is in the harvest. So soybeans we're getting over 200,000 liters on a yield so canola and, and sunflower is definitely going to yield much better and that silo can only hold 200,000 so I need to remind myself that um, yeah, I'm going to have to bring the Volvo truck with the Wilson trailer up one time and just take grain out of the silo during the harvest alright let's bring this Vulture back to our silo and dump it on in uh, this is probably too much grain actually for this trailer I mean, it, it, well, uh, maybe it's not too much, but it's definitely on its limit. So we got this, I got the biggest weight. I know there are much bigger weights than what I have uh, in the shop, but uh, I got a pretty darn big weight in the front of this thing. And 45,000 liters does take a lot of weight out the front, even with the weight in the front, because the front steering is a little, it's not bad, but it's just got to be a little bit careful. Yeah, so this field here, we have yet to harvest, uh, but this is the first time we seeded it, so we'll get more of a yield next time. Which is great. Uh, more yield, this more to sell, more income. But it feels good. It seems like at the end of every day now we're paying off a good chunk of the loan. Well, I mean a good chunk. At least you know we're, we're we're always talking hundreds of thousands of dollars here. And the beginning stages, I we were just happy in the beginning stages of this. Do I want to call it a challenge? I mean, it wasn't really much a challenge. It's kind of like a role play kind of a thing, but now it's kind of more like, more like a challenge now. Uh, but yeah, the beginning stages, I think we were just happy when I paid off like $10,000 off the loan. Because everything, it was just hard to make money when you were paying $160,000 per night on loan interest. And we had very little animals, so we weren't getting much products from the animals, and it was hard just to earn a penny. But little by little... They turned around. 
I think it really turned around once we got the loan down to thirty million dollars, and then it seemed like it was really it's really picking up pace. And obviously, the more I pay off, the more money we save at midnight, not paying on loan interest. Um, yeah, it's just easier to make more and more money. And of course, uh, we're buying more and more fields and expanding more and more. So it's just working out. Everything's rocking and rolling here in the Pacific Northwest. And it won't be long before we own it all. So I'm going to try to empty out the combine once again. So I can get back down to the lower plateau and uh, let the combine do what it needs to do. I would like to set off the... Uh, let Frank start seeding this field. I'm just concerned because the width of the implements. Uh, what's the width of that? That's a 12 meter. I'm trying to think. Is that a 9 meter or 12 meter? Because if it's the same width. If I set off course play. It should be doing the same course that this is doing. I can't, is that a, I forgot what the width of that header is. Um, headers. Uh, let's see. It's going to be... Yeah, so it is the 9 meter. So in theory, if I start setting Frank off, he should, in theory, do the same path as our combine is. But I don't see the rush. I mean, we as long as I get the harvest done during the daytime, Frank can seed in the evening hours. He's fine. He's all good. Yeah, the weeds are coming. Uh, yeah, we don't really have much of a harvest left anyways. Probably like another 20 minutes or so. And the combine is full. So this is what course play does. Uh, it's something like a hired worker does not do from Farming Simulator. But course play will back up. Move one, uh, one row over. To allow you to pull over to the side. And empty out. So I love that from course play. Love it, love it. And I think I should be able to. I should be able to uh, take care of that right there. We're fine there. All right, so let's go ahead and get you back to work. Now, at some point, I would love um, to get our cows if they produce enough manure to start spreading fertilizer in this field. And I can save myself. It sounds kind of cheap with all the money we're talking about here, but I think it's ten thousand dollars to refill this with liquid fertilizer so I'm paying ten thousand dollars to fertilize this one fuel over here um really ten thousand dollars doesn't sound like a lot which it isn't when we're talking millions of dollars that this farm has burned through but uh I'm trying to trying to save every penny we can plus I think it's more environmentally friendly to use horse manure uh, cow manure rather than liquid fertilizer maybe I don't know I don't know if it is or isn't um which one is oh uh here you are and, yep, you are going to run out of lime, aren't you? Can you at least make it to the end of the row? Pretty please? Yeah, you, you should, you'll have no problem making it to the end of the row. All right, let's go ahead and relieve the worker of their duties for a moment. And we'll go top off. How's the John Deere doing? Um, yeah, we're staying pretty pretty much ahead of the John Deere so I think we're okay for now and really by the time the TA gets done spreading lime in this field and starts helping out his buddy uh, the John Deere is going to be about halfway through but it's not going to hurt to get the TA start sitting from this side because we'll just get it done that much quicker it's like the quad track should be on its last pass so yeah the John Deere I do have to keep an eye on when it gets to no it's not on its last pass is it uh, nope, but almost. Um, yeah, I have to be careful. It's usually the drills when they're seeding this field. Sometimes merge over into the other field. Even though I got plenty of room. It seems like we got plenty of room in between the fields. I think it's because this little nook right here. So just have to keep an eye on it. But I got a ways to go before we get that far. Yep, you got one more pass there. This harvest is going very well up here. Yep, just spending money, though. But it's okay. Yeah, uh, probably at least a half million dollars into the loan that we'd be paying off tonight. I mean, I could pay 550 but I may just keep it at half a million. I don't know. It all depends on if we sell milk or not. 
but I don't see that price rising on up. But I don't think I'll be paying off any of the debt at the end of this episode um, because I'm probably going to... The episode will probably end before we get done seeding this field and this field in the upper plateau. So we'll probably start the beginning of the next episode after all the work is done on these fields here. And we'll pay off the loan, uh, sleep to the morning and see what it looks like. Definitely have to do some work here and there. Or, you know, I might get, I may just pay, I don't know. I may just pay it off anyways. Who knows? Who knows? You know me, I like to change my mind over and over again. All right, that's looking good. John Deere's doing his thing. It is looking really good here in this cotton field, getting it reseeded tonight. Yeah, so if I go go here, yeah, we are just about done harvesting this field. Another 12, 13 minutes or so, it will be done. Uh, what I need to do, though, is, no, uh, let's just jump to here for a second. This is our silo for the upper plateau. And, yeah, I got 180,000 liters of soybeans here. So what I need to do is, uh, hmm, yep, uh, the trailer I have, I need to go up and get some soybeans. I need to take them out of that silo because I'm going to have more than what the silo can handle. So I need to bring the water tanker back. I need to start refilling that up. The trailer that I need has actually got some wheat into it because I brought it over here for the whiskey factory. So I need to bring the trailer back, put the wheat back into the silo and head on up to the upper plateau and empty out that silo to give us some room. Seems like everything is happening at once. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to get up to the upper plateau to get those soybeans. And then I got a message that a worker was blocked, which this worker right here was the one that was blocked. Uh, the quad track was in the way. So I had to move the quad track, and just as I got the quad track moved, I thought this was going to have to make another pass, but no, it was done. So I got the quad track here out of the way. That's filling up. Uh, my Volvo truck with the trailer is here. It's got the wheat unloaded, but my combine needs to be unloaded. Where, where, oh, where are you? Ah, you're way down here. Um, not bad. Uh, 7,700 to refill the liquid fertilizer. Uh, but I did refill it before, like I said, and I think it was like three grand. So yeah, still ten. Obviously, it's still ten grand. The price of liquid fertilizer does not change. I I know of. That's one thing I wish um, we could see prices on. So like when we go buy seed and fertilizer, um, you know, we can see how much we can sell stuff for, but we don't. We can't see how much it takes to buy stuff. And I wish that'd be one thing I'd like to see in the new farming simulator, or maybe can someone can make a mod on that? That'd be kind of interesting. To where there's a fluctuating price of buying seed and fertilizer because that would make more decisions to do on the farm I mean you may not need seed for any of your implements and stuff but if you find a day where the price is really low you should be able to buy seed and like store it in like auger wagons or something like that that, that could change the way we play farming simulator a little bit so that would be kind of interesting I'm pretty sure someone else has thought of that um, I'm, I'm you know my brain's not that smart uh, so where are we here all right, can I, can I finally get up to the upper plateau and get that uh, soybean out of that silo so I have more places to store it? Um, now the question is, where do I store it? Do I want to store it in this silo or do I want to store it in the other silo? It really doesn't matter because usually the price for soybeans is best at, in the upper plateau. So um, theoretically, it would be great to keep the soybean up there. I mean, I could put another silo down up there. Uh, but that just cost me money. Actually, how much is uh, good old Alien Jim's uh, silos go for? I kind of forgot. Would it be, is it worth it? Uh, you got to click on silos, Peanut. That's where they would be located at. $60,000 really is not that expensive. I mean... Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's let's do this here. Uh, let's come up and visit this farm right here. Let's see where. I mean, I got plenty of places to put it. Actually, right here is not a bad spot. 
plus I like putting up his mods because I like uh, how it shows up, how it builds up. Um, I think we got to kind of keep with the same kind of stone texture, right? Yeah, that seems kind of kind of like the smart thing to do. All right, so I finally got it to be placed down, so it's all good to go, I think. Did I place it down the correct way, though, is the question. Crap, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I never do. I never do. You think I learned? Oh, man, if he sees this, he's going to... He's gonna. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so now we got a place for our grain up here, except for that tree. Oh, that's that's kind of... Uh, well, I mean, it'll, it'll make it interesting, right? It, it adds, adds us some decor. I got to remember that these shelves go over here. Yeah, I know. Oh, man, the amount of times I place those down, you think I'd remember, but I don't. Anyway, so, yeah, spend a little cash here. That's fine. Still, we're going to pay half a million dollars off the loan, I do believe. Uh, let me go ahead in here, and we'll do some landscaping, because I got to mod not modify this, but I definitely got to smooth this out a little bit. And then replant some grass around here. There we go. That'll work. Spend a little bit in cash. Why not? All right. There we go. Now, it's just, instead of bringing my trailer up here. All right. So, the question is, uh, what's everyone else? What it was, what is everyone else doing here? All right. So, we're spreading some lime still. How, how are you doing on lime? You're fine for a little bit. John Deere is doing fine. How are we doing up here? We are just about done with the harvest over here. Which is good. And so actually before I start doing that, let's get over here to where Frank is. Lower that down. Uh, course generation. This is field user number one. Around three times. Uh, take a little bit off there. And everything should be good to go. And I'll help you out here by kind of lining you up to your first waypoint. Drive course. And now we're getting some sunflowers planted. Perfect. Perfect. And this crop here will go into the new silo. Who knows, I may even uh, empty out the other silo and I could just use that silo there, but I don't think I'll do that. I don't think I'll do that at all. I'll wait for our worker to finish harvesting at the weird angles that he's hard. It looks like it's a weird angle down here because this is the way the field is shaped. Yeah, just, it just makes more sense because um, yeah, the soybean, the oilseed crops seem to sell best at the agro wholesales, which is in the northeast part. In the timberline flour mill, which is over here in the northwest part, it's usually never down at the bakery or anything like that, it seems like, so... Uh, they keep coming up here and grabbing crops, which, as we can see now, soybean is yields the least, but yet here we are. Now, there's our wonderful hour, hourly uh, payment of $5,600 wage payments. But yeah, when we start harvesting uh, the canola and so, uh, sunflower up here, I want to fill that silo up every time, so it just seems like the right thing to do. And put a silo up here for, I think it probably cost me like 60 grand. I didn't see how much it was when I placed it. Uh, but with train modifications and all that, let's say 60 grand. And uh, what's 60 grand nowadays, right? right? Let's put the pipe out. And we are done with the harvest in the upper plateau. And I need to empty this out before. Like, here comes Frank. He's going to be like, dude, what are you doing? I need, I need to come through here. Yeah, I'm not going to be empty before you get here, but uh, oh, this could this could be bad. What is Frank going to do? Is he actually going to stop? Is my header up high enough? Can that sneak under? Oh, okay. Nice, nice going there, Frank. Showing off your workman skills right there. Oh, Frank has come a long ways. All right, so... Yep, now I can fold that on up. Um, can I sneak? 
Can I sneak through here without driving all the way around? Yeah, there's no fence here, right? No, there isn't. Oh, this is this works out perfectly. I don't know if it's perfectly, but it uh, works out rather well. Uh, don't hit the stop sign or the hydrant. Oh, yes. All right, so I'm going to bring this back, get this out of the way, and hopefully get back there, get the Voltra, and we'll see if I can get uh, the trailer into the si new silo without hitting that tree. Um, hopefully I can. So here's all of our soybean. Uh, if we look at our what we have in the other silo, what we have here, just a tad over 200,000 liters of soybean. And uh, now that we got this field to be twice the size, yeah, we're always going to be over 200,000 liters on every harvest. So yeah, getting the silo put down up here, not a bad decision, I think. And plus the good news is I don't have a tipping trailer. Oh, I got plenty of room to get underneath that tree. Perfect. Just perfect. The only thing I probably would need would be one of those silo signs out here. Okay, I can't turn that way. I'm not cutting down those trees. Those will stay there. Uh, looks so good. Perfectly, I won't say perfectly fits in here. But it works out really well. All right, so the trailer we are done with up here for a couple of days. All right, so Frank is doing his thing here. The weeds are coming. I kind of hope he gets this field seeded before the weeds get there, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Um, uh, yeah, I was supposed to keep my eye on the T8, uh, make sure he didn't go back over to field 34, and he did not, which is fine. Uh, this worker is going to run out of some line here pretty darn soon like that perfect timing and i think it's almost perfect timing to probably wrap up the episode uh like i said i'll probably will start the next episode in this evening hours because so i want to see what the milk price creeps up to because running at one time speed the price is not changing that much um i might be selling milk just before midnight if the price is really really good and oh wow this is perfect timing because now the john deere apparently is i keep trying to click because i want to see what we're out of uh, we're out of seed, actually. So, yeah, this is going to be a perfect time to end the episode. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish. I'm going to let Frank finish his seeding job. And uh, hopefully this cotton field will be reseeded by then. So the next episode will probably start, oh, whenever the milk price ends. And uh, if the milk price isn't as good as it should be, uh, we'll just pay off $500,000 off the loan. Sleep till morning and probably in the morning. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do in the upper plateau. We're going to have to weed probably down here as well but we don't have to fertilize down here we'll be all set but we are going to need a fertilize no that's the wrong button uh that's the button you want there peanut there you go start filling that up yeah so we're gonna have weeds down here uh these fields down here like i said do not need to be fertilized as you saw the upper plateau fields though those will need to be weeded and fertilized but that won't take us too long uh to charge through that but that is going to do it for this episode guys um Hopefully you did enjoy it. I do appreciate you watching as always. And I'll catch you next time right here in the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.